and welcome to Summer Sparkling Good Time. I'm Summer, and today I'm going to do my stash video. It is March 8, 2023, and I have not done my count yet. I'll put a count in at the end. Um, I now understand what everyone was saying when they say this is so much work to put this video together. It's insane, and it's somewhat embarrassing. So, um, first up, I'm going to show uh, my current whips. Then moving into my whips on hold, then to my um, unboxed canvases, and then I'll go into my box canvases um, in order of how many I have from which company. Um, the, what's on the table is not really done by company. My whips are not done by company. How's that? So first things first, this is Autumn 1900 by Alphonse Muga from Diamond Painting Shop. And she is, oh Lord, I can't remember, a 58 by 133 round. And I am finished up to here. So all this part is done. She's so pretty. So pretty, guys. Oh my gosh, I am loving this. So I literally only have from here to there to go. Oh, yeah. There. <laughs> there to go. And then she'll be done. That's my main project. Oh, please don't fall. Okay. Second up, this is <clears throat> Willa by Mika Jelena from Diamond Art Club. She is 70 by 89. This is my uh, event canvas for the Emerald Along. She's so pretty, guys. Oh, my gosh. So pretty. She is in the last chance section on Diamond Art Club, just so you know. She's on her way out. So if you want her, I strongly suggest you go get her. Oh, and she was squares. Sorry. This is uh, So Wondrous Wild by Leoba Bruckner. This is a 50 by 55 centimeter from DIY Moonshop. Uh, round drills. And this is my event canvas for Mermaids and Magic. This is our little baby. And round drills. I don't know if I said that. Okay. Now I'm at canvas uh, my whips that are on hold so this is escape from eden or symphony number no. four from tanya Chitseva. i believe she's changed her name to eva just something and is now over with a uh, diy moonshop i believe uh, but i was trying to work out of baggies on this baby and i didn't have them all closed correctly and I might have took a very large spill with all the drills in my hands. And so now I have to order some before I can continue working on this. But this is square drills. Uh, she is, how big is she? She is a 28 by 20 inch. I don't know what that is. It's in there. Okay, that's craftably. Okay, this is what's this called warm interiors uh by i don't even remember marcy i'm not sure if i can find the link I'll, I'll do the link but this is from crystal canvas art designs um they're round full crystal drill um honestly i'm not really sure if i'm a full crystal drill or not but i got over it real fast <laughs> so I'm going to pull this back out later uh, next year. I just, I wasn't feeling it. I just, it just was not. It was not for me. <laughs> okay. And then this is my one and only diamond dots. And I started working on this. It has special drills. It is a Joyful Jolly Snowman. It's a 35.5 by 45 uh, centimeter or 14 by 17.9. It has the special drills. We have the big uh, clear crystals. We have the big 
red crystals. Uh, there's a third one. I don't remember. Oh, the ABs maybe. I just, y'all, it just wasn't it for me. Um, I was working on this on my trip to Arizona. And I just got really bored really fast. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I will I will bring this back out. And I, I have to do my two Christmas ones before I'm allowed to buy any more Christmas ones this year. That's my that's my, my rule to myself. Okay, now we're in unboxed uh, sash. So this is Rainbow Cloud by Starwing Sea from Unimade. She's a 30 by 30 centimeter or 11.81 uh square uh, in inches um i don't remember if it was round or square drills I don't, I don't remember guys don't know and i don't know where i put those drills right now to tell you oh yes i do hold on they're square drills so this is Square Drills, and this is my little itty bitty Muni Made. I have another Muni Made in my stash, but you are not going to see it because UPS did me dirty, and the canvas is actually with um, a friend of mine who I call the Laundry Queen, seeing if she can fix what was done to that canvas. Um, M is aware of the situation. Her and I have discussed it. She's been more than amazing with the situation. It was not her fault. It was very much uh, UPS fault. So, um, Emma's been amazing. I, she just, she went above and beyond to help me. So, but I'm hoping I'll be able to show you everything with that canvas a little later. If, you know, the Queen of Laundry does what she does, I'm going to have a great video for you in case you experience something similar. Okay? So, that's Rainbow Cloud. Okay, this is Sorry by Yan Lee from Mary's Diamond. I'm not sure if uh, this is going to be, and it's round. I'm not sure because of the new ownership if this artist is still with the company or not. I don't know. I ordered these um, right before. Uh, Christmas last year, and then, oh, I forgot to tell you, she is a uh, 45 by 50 centimeter. Um, I ordered these right before Christmas because I wanted this to be my um, Jingle Drills canvas, but they did not get here in time, so I did another one. Um, so this one is Sweet Dear Girl by... Yeah, it's very tiny and I can't tell. It's a 60 by 60 square. Um, it's round. She's really pretty. <sighs> Something. Discola? I'm not sure. I mean, she's beautiful. But this will probably be my Jingle Drills canvas or other Christmas event canvas this year. I love her so much. I love the... Lights wrapped up in the antlers. I just love it. I really hope I'm remembered to tell you guys everything because this is a lot of work. Okay, now we're in my Unboxed Diamond Art Club stash. And this is The Gaze. Uh, it's by Deborah Malcolm. 66 by 51 centimeters from Diamond Art Club. It is 46 colors. And, hmm, you round a square. I do not remember. Round. It's a round because it says R right there. So this is a round drill. I just love this. This has special drills too. Through here. And all up through this. And around here. I'm just... This is one of the first kits I bought. I just love this. I just, I had bought this right after I bought Escape from Eden. And I started working on that one with all the blues. So I was saving this one because these are half the colors. And then life happened and 
I haven't come back to her because I'm, I might have a shopping problem and there might be other canvases here. Okay, this is Trixie, I believe, by uh, Hannah Lynn. She is a 47 by 66 uh, round. She is like a little steampunk lady. I love her a lot. She was almost my emerald along canvas. But I decided to wait on her because I just finished Steampunk Prowess in January. I work on her I think it's January? February. I don't know. I don't even remember anymore. They're all running together. So I was giving myself a little break. But she's beautiful. Okay. Everybody get your knife. So what you don't think about is you have to have the area to have all your diamond paintings that you're showing. Then you have to have an area for all the ones that you're getting ready to show that are in the boxes. And then you have to have an area to put all of these once you take them off the table. So this is Mermaid Princess by Sarah Mustafa. She's a 50.7 by 65.8 centimeter or a 20 by 26 inch. She is round. She is gorgeous. I love her so very much. This one reminds me of my best friend, Ashley, a lot. And I might have a, um, a large collection of mermaids. You'll notice a thing. <laughs> okay. Next up we have the Hogwarts Crest Fine Oddities Black. It is a 22 by 26 inch or 56 by 66 centimeter. It's from the Wizarding World and trademarked through Warner Brothers. Um, I actually got this from Diamond and Washi's uh, D Stash over on her Patreon, I think, because I would before I found out about licensing, I had bought this image off of Amazon um, unlicensed. So I have slowly been trying to replace my unlicensed kits with licensed kits. So this I liked a lot because I was able to. Uh, get the kit and it didn't cost me an arm and a leg since I've already bought it once. So there's that one. Okay. Then we have oops, Flower Market Girl by Hannah Lynn. She's a 51 by 71 centimeters or 20 by 28 inch 28 inch round drills. I love her so much. Oh my gosh. This reminds me of my bestie, Kathy, the queen of laundry. Um, she's very into gardening as well. And uh, this just, everything about this reminds me of her from when she was younger. Because uh, my bestie is, well, my bestie, Kathy, is 25 years older than me. My bestie, Ashley, is like seven years younger than me. I like, I like to keep variety. Okay, then we have the big boy. Oh, the big boy. I'm going to try not get you guys sick. Ugh. Oh no, don't fall. <laughs> so, this is the astronomer. It is so big. I am so in love with this canvas, though. So in love. It is. Let me see if I can get you a better spot. I see you right there. Okay. Oh, that looks like my whole recording arm's gonna break. Hold on, y'all. Let's do that. Okay. So the astronomer is a 105 by 70 centimeters, or 41.3 by 27.6 uh, inch. The artist is Miles Pinkney, and this is licensed from um, Diamond Art Club. I love this so much. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Let me see if I can. So, I love my little wizardy guy right here. But, let's see. Do you see the little lantern hanging here? And then the folds of the tent right there. And the stars out behind. And, like, let me see if I can take this. Ooh. I feel like we're sliding. Like, all the gears and the mechanical parts of this. Um telescope and then the bird right here my own damn everything about this makes me happy everything 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 okay so that is 
all the things I have that are currently out of the box. And now I'm going to pause you and grab my first set of boxes. One second, I'll be right back. Okay, so box stash from Diamond Painting Shop with two P's and an E. The only thing I have unboxed is Summer 1900, which is a 60 by 120 round um, with 57 colors. Uh, this is actually a picture I printed out and put on the box because the box comes unmarked and um, that doesn't work for me. Um, when I was looking on the website today, um, so today's March 8th, 2023, this kit does not appear to be there anymore. Just so you're aware. I don't know where it went. So that's my only diamond painting shop. Then we have Jaded Gym Shop. I'm so sorry, guys. I know what I didn't do. I didn't show you the picture. <laughs> the box does not help you, does it? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pause and move my camera. Hold on. Okay, so this is Summer 1900 by Alphonse Muga from Diamond Painting Shop. She's a 50 by 120 with 57 colors. A little bit better? Yeah. <laughs> okay, then moving on to Jaded Gym Shop. We have Harold the Fancy Goldfish. It's a 37 by 30 centimeter round. And I have Take a Flight by Mari 945 from Jaded Gym Shop, 40 by 60 round. Those are my two Jaded Gym Shops. The other company I have two from is Dreamer Designs. So for Dreamer Designs, I have Meet Me at the Diner by Regan Kubicek. She's a 40 by 60 round. And then I have Tradition, ah, I just smeared my thing. Traditional Charms by Romy Lairda. She's a 60 by 120, very large panel. Um, and she's round and I've smeared it. Okay, now to the companies I have three of. DIY Moon Shop. I have Ocean by, oh dear lord, Dittman. Anna Dittman <laughs> in rounds. I have Gamer Girl by Medusa the Dollmaker, a 50 by 71 round. And then I have Colorful Me by oh, Eva Guillemin. Um, the one that used to be uh, Tanya Shitseva and then change her name. This is the same uh, artist, I believe. And this is a 60 by 60 round. Okay. Let me slide over a little bit. Okay. Then I have three Distracted by Diamonds kits. I have a Rocket Girl by Jasmine Castillo. She is a 52 by 64 round. Then I have this, oh Lord, what is it called? Hold on one second. Okay, so this is La Vie Parisienne, 1920. I believe it's the magazine cover. It's a 62 by 80 round. I have no idea who the artist is on this. And then we have Saltwater by Gretel, Let's, Gretel Lesky. She is a 62 by 70 uh, round. Okay. Okay. Moving on to Oraloa. I have four kits from them. Let's see if I can do this. So my first is Purple by, I can never say her name and I butcher it, but you can read it right there. Um, it is a 40 by 40 centimeter square or a 15.7 square inch. It is square diamonds. That is my smallest Oraloa. Oh, here we go. <laughs> then we have Cali Girl from Hannah Lynn. This is a 47 by 66 or an 18 and a half by 25.9 inch round diamonds. One of these. I don't even know. This is, the box is not as big as the other one. Okay. 
Then I have Take Care by the artist. I still can't pronounce her name. It's an 85 by 56 round diamonds. You'll love this one. And then, same artist. Still can't pron pronounce her name, but Kur in Flute. And this is a 71 by 71 um, centimeter, and it's round diamonds. This is the same size as the one um, where the girl's holding the coffee cup in her hands. And um, it's all pink and beautiful. So I got that to hopefully, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Now I have to pause you because now it's time for Diamond Art Club. And it, that that's scary. Hold, please. Okay. Diamond Art Club. I'm going to go with my small boxes, then my regular size boxes, and then my over large boxes. <laughs> okay. Smallest box I have is Fox Wisdom, which is a, um, by Wilming Arts, she is a 13 by 18 inch or a 33 by 46 centimeter. Okay, and it's square. Sorry. Then I have uh, this round rail. It's T Rose Fairy. Okay. Yeah. T Rose Fairy by Hannah Lynn. It's a uh, 17 by 24 or 42.6 by 60.8 round drills. Jack, I don't need help. Thank you for applauding. Then we have Ray by Hannah Lynn. It's a 17 by 24 inch swell or a 43 by uh, 61 centimeter round drills. Then we have oh gosh, uh, Rocket Fuel, which is that little raccoon that just came out. And the artist is Holly Simmental. Not sure how to pronounce that. Sorry if I butchered it. It's a 20 by 17 inch or a 50.7 by 42.6 centimeter round drills. And my last of the small kits, I have this square partial. Is this a partial? I don't know if it's a partial or not. No, I don't remember. It's the Hedgehog by Marilyn Cas Casanova. Um, Square drills, 16 by 16 or 41 by 41 centimeters. And that is it for the small ones. Hold on. We're starting with the round drills because there's more of those. We have Kitty Cuddles by Christine Karen. Um, 22 by 30 inches or 56 by 76 centimeters. Round drills. We have Lady Moth by Sarah Richter. Uh, 22 by 28 or 55.8 by 70.6 centimeters. Once again, round drills. I'm not going to say round. All of these are round until I tell you I'm moving to squares. Leo Warrior. Um, she is by Roy Trin. Um, and it's a 20 by 30 or a 51 by 76. We have Under the Sea by Sarah Mustafa. It's a 22 by 29 or 55.8 by 73.7 centimeter. Let me, okay. We are, ah, man, did not work for me. <laughs> we also have Daydreaming by Sarah Mustafa, uh, 27 by 22 or a 68.7 by 55.8 centimeter. And then we have Cavalier Cat by Jeff Haney. He is a 22 by 28 or a 56 by 71 centimeter. And like I said, all of six of those were round. Okay, next up we have Her Summoning by uh, Ivy Dolomar. A 20 by 26 or a 50.7 by 65.8. Still on round drills. We have... Butterfly Glow by Christine Lohr. Christina Lohr? Christina Lohr. Uh, 20 by 26, 51 by 66 centimeters. Still around drills. We have, oops. Okay, y'all, over there. We have Heidi. Um, and Heidi is by Camilla Dierko. Um, and it's a 27 by 22 or a 68.7 by 55.8 centimeter. So round drills. We 
have Black Girl Magic by uh, Christina Lohr. And she's a 20 by 26 or a 51 by 66 centimeter. We have Something in the Air uh, by Mark Alante. Uh, it's a 18 by 28 or a 46 by 71. And um, round row as well. Excuse me. We have Persephone, Queen of the Underworld by Chris Buck. 20 by 31 or 50.7 by 78.7 centimeters. I love this. Love this so much. This one does have the film off because I did open her up to see the canvas immediately when I got her because, mm, hello, love this. And then I forgot to show this when I was doing whips. I do have Moonlight Bride by Anne Julie Aubrey. Um, she's a 20 by 28 inch or a 51 by 71 centimeter. This is a kit I am uh, is, a, is a work in progress. I'm doing with my daughter Trinity because her favorite thing in the world is the Corpse Bride or all things Tim Burton. Okay, you need to go over there because you got put in the wrong spot. You were lost. Okay. We have Square Drills. Diamond Art Club Square Drills. We have Big Sis by Ivy Dolomar. She is a 22 by 28 or 55.8 by 70.7 centimeter. We have Temple by uh, Mika Jolina. She is a 22 by 28 or a 55.8 by 70.7 centimeter square drills. We have Garnock King of the Woodlands by Cheryl Baker. It's a 22 by 28 by 50 or 56 by 71 centimeters still square drills. We have Goddess of Night by Krista Bug. 22 by 28, 56 by 71, square drills. And the last of this size we have is Sisters of Fate. Square drills, she's a 20 by, or there are 20 by 31, or a 50.8 by 78.7 centimeter square drills. Okay, so, still sticking with square drills. Oh, so. The last two of the kits. Thank you, Jesus. We have The Wicked Witch Estate by Cheryl Baker. She is a 27.6 by 35 inch or 70 by 89 centimeter square drills. Head over here. Oh, we have. Becoming Human, or Dreaming of Being Human by Dakota Dateweiler. And she is a 34.3 by 25.6 inch or 87 by 65 centimeter square drill canvas. So excited. That's going to be my Dakotathon canvas, I believe. <sighs> we have The Tea Party by Ivy Dolamore. It's a oh, picture sideways, Summer. Get it closer. That's what we got. Okay. It is um, a 34.3 by 25.6 or an 87 by 65 centimeter square drills. Oh. We have Charming or Charleston Charm by Angela. Trotto Thomas. It's a 25.6 by 34.3 inch or 65 by 87 centimeter. This will be like my first landscape. And I'm a little nervous <laughs> because why'd I have to find the big one? <laughs> why didn't I pick a little one? <sighs> and then we have Aveline, Mother of the Woodlands by Cheryl Baker. It's a 25.6 by 32.7 inch or 65 by 83 centimeter. And that really bothers me that this one and the other owl by Cheryl Baker are not the same size. That like just bugs the crap out of me. I really wanted them to be the same size. Um, but there's that. I love her. I love her so much. It's ridiculous. And then last, 
we have Anastasia by, I have no idea how to pronounce that. It's uh, Grahana, Grahana Zielinska. No idea. <laughs> this was a, a, either a Black Friday or a uh, Cyber Monday release. Um, it's a 23.6 by 23.6 or 60 centimeters uh, by 60 centimeters square drill. And this will probably be my first giveaway uh, canvas when it's time. I think um, this will be the canvas I give away when I get to like 250 subscribers. So it could be two years. Who knows? <gasps> no, I hope not. Oh, I really hope not. So... With that being said, that is my stash. As you can tell, it's predominantly right there. Let's see, Diamond Art Club. And I will go ahead and put in our final tally here. See if I can do that. Telling you uh, how many kits there were, um, because I honestly have no idea. I did not include. Any of the budget kits I have uh, that I bought prior to learning about licensing because I'm, I'm not I'm not promoting that um, I did go through mine and I got through quite I, I, I gave away to some people I know who enjoy the craft that um, might not have the same financial resources as I do and I gave um, the ones that I didn't that were not something I needed to keep for me um, to them, and um, I kept the ones that I haven't been able to find replacements for, or the one I have a large, large one, like um, the size of Willa, or uh, from AliExpress that I have spoken to the artist and I have permission to do the canvas, but I need to talk to her about if I have permission to show the canvas on the channel before I move forward. Um, then I did not show the Chris Ortega mystery kit canvas because it's unboxed and I'm not going to do spoilers and I'm not going to do all the bing, bang, boom, bob to not, <laughs> to not, uh, let you end up with spoilers. So this is my sash. I started diamond painting in August, like went hard into it in October and I might have a problem. So if you have a problem, hit the like button. Leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, let's be friends. And um, if you leave nasty comments because I how I spend my money, I'm going to delete it. It's just, it's not polite. I mean, it's just a fun video. I know I have a problem. But how I spend my money is how I spend my money. How you spend your money is how you spend your money. Maybe you like to go to eat, go out to eat. Maybe you like to get coffee from one of the fancy coffee places. Maybe you like to go on vacations. I like to diamond paint and listen to books on Audible. That's where my money goes. But thank you all for joining me. This has been a crazy video to make. And I still have to probably spend the next hour editing it. So I hope you all have a great time. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.